What is up guys? Super happy to have you back. I'm gonna jump right into this because I just feel like if I would have known about this before, it would have given me so much clarity and it would have given me also so much peace of mind going through different seasons. So essentially, we all know that we're gonna have different chapters of life. And when you go through different seasons, unfortunately, as humans, we're just not built to be able to actually like put 100% of our focus on all of the different details that life actually has. If you think about it, like if you look at like family, taking care of yourself, your career, maintaining your, your relationships with your external family as well as your internal family. Um, if you have pets, then that's another type of relationship that you have to keep up with. There's just a lot of things like working on your health and fitness if you're gonna go to the gym, meal prepping, making food and planning what you're gonna eat and then sticking to that activities, fun, events, traveling. There's so many areas of life that we don't actually have the capacity to fully focus on all of these things and make them exceptionally great. And so what we have to do is use our discernment going through different seasons of life and figure out what the main goal is of that particular season. So I remember when I did bodybuilding show, obviously that is where a lot of my focus and attention was going. So after that in my life, the next season that came up was that I really wanted to dive in and focus all of my energy on work and really make life-changing money. And then that was my next focus. And so there's a lot of things that I had been focusing on before, like insanely regimented with my gym and nutrition. And of course I pushed some of that off to the side, but really when you're feeling good and you create all of that energy because you have your main focus, like for me, as long as I was hitting my sales and doing the things that I needed to do to hit my main goal, then I would use that energy that I literally won. So I find it's like a catch 22. I don't know if it's a catch 21 or a catch 22. But anyways, I feel like it's super difficult to like get energy, especially lately, because right now I've just been focusing on the fact that I'm pregnant and this is a completely other chapter of my life. And I need to make sure that obviously I'm in touch with my body, but still getting the nutrients and pushing myself adequately to get the proper amount of exercise. And it's just been super challenging. But right now I feel like more than ever in my life, I don't have a ton of energy. And so what I'm doing is I'm always, 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 no matter what season I'm in, focusing on what I determine the main goal is. Sometimes to attain the main goal, it actually costs you energy, but when you have the attainment and then you're actually stacking wins all of the time on your main goal, then it returns that energy to you multiplied by 10 or more. And so for me, what I was doing is after I would get all of that energy back from hitting my main goal, then I would flow it into other goals that I had. So for me during the season of my life where I was especially focused on work, then after that was attained and I felt like super proud of myself, then I had a lot more energy to put into the gym, my nutrition, and some other goals like building good family relationships and making sure to spend time with them. Once I kind of like got my rhythm in that chapter of my life, then it became super clear to me how to approach this in the next chapter of my life. And something that I want to mention here is that you're always going to have like these growth periods when you're going through transition from one chapter to another. You're going to feel like you're like characters in a video game when they change their setting and it changes like new levels, new devils. So it changes the whole challenge that you have. And sometimes it feels like that. Sometimes it feels like you're living in the rainforest and you're super comfortable living in the rainforest and then someone scoops you out of nowhere and drops you in the desert. And then you have to figure out like, how do you survive? What things are dangerous? What things are good? And I think that that's really comparable to going into like a new chapter in a new season of trying to figure out like, how am I supposed to, if career isn't my main thing right now, and it's really being in touch with my body and taking care of what my body needs and growing a whole other human being, how am I supposed to refocus myself with all of the skills that I've learned once you focus your efforts on this main goal that it's going to create more energy for you to be able to focus on your other goals, it becomes kind of a relief because you don't have to be the type of person that starts to sacrifice things in your life. So there's never a point that I want to get to in my life where I start sacrificing my health, my well-being, my self-care, all of these things that make me feel good. You're going to have those transition periods where it feels like 
you're just getting hit in the face and you're like, oh my gosh, like I do not know how to overcome this new challenge that I've been given. But once you start to get in the swing of things and you gain the clarity on what the main goal is and what your secondary goals are after that, and then you can kind of prioritize like how important things are to you. Then once you have that clarity, you start working on your main goal and then your energy just trickles downward after that. I heard a quote one time, there was one girl that I was looking up to and she's mentoring me in this area and she said, just remember that my hindsight is your foresight. And that just completely changed everything for me and that's why I absolutely love looking at people who have been places where I want to go and they've already experienced this. And for me, the main goal on my channel is to do exactly that for you. So there's certain things that I have lived through and found ways to kind of like not just adapt and cope and survive but also to thrive in those areas and still continue you know focusing on what's coming and not being stuck in the past doing the healing work so that things can flow past and you're not like grabbing all of this garbage and hanging on to it and letting it weigh you down so my goal has always been to continue to develop myself in ways that become transferable skills to other areas of my life, but also to other people that I'm able to impact in my life. If you wanna see more content like this, I absolutely love my subscribers and I'm so, so, so beyond happy to see that the family of subscribers that I have in this community is continuously growing. And I notice every single one of you that comes in. So please, please, please do subscribe for more content just like this and hit the bell. That way you do not miss any new videos that are coming out because even if you follow me on instagram i will put my instagram handle down below if you don't already follow me on instagram but just know that there's a lot of content that comes out here that doesn't necessarily get put on there so you're kind of gonna be on the vip list 